So today I'm gonna talk about uh, how to make a static website using Tailwind UI and also Vit framework. Uh, Vit is kind of an easy framework and you can go to its website vitjs.dev uh, and here just copy this how to create a, a project and let's go into a uh, folder where we want to create this project and run this and then uh, just give the name for the project and I'm gonna just call it Tailwind in Buit. Choose vanilla and then JavaScript and now we need to run these three uh, lines just cd into the project that we have created and then npm install for installing all the dependencies And then npm run dev is just running a development server. And here let's just go to this local host and see how the Vite, uh default web page looks like. So everything looks like it's working. So now uh, we need to go uh, to Tailwind CSS and here there are like framework guides as well. Like we can choose like different frameworks. We go to Vite and uh, here you can actually use it with React and Vue, but because we used vanilla, it's yeah, it doesn't matter. So we're going to use the second um, code uh, block and just just paste it here. And we installing the Tailwind CSS, Post CSS, and Auto Prefixer. And let's not run the second line yet. And instead, let's start a uh, VS Code here. Because the second line is going to create a few files, I just want to show you that those um, when those files are created. So VS or open the VS Code. Uh, this this is the project. So let's just close the terminal and open another one in VS Code. Uh, now we need to get the second line. So let's just copy it and run. It will create two files, uh, Tailwind config and post-css config files, and uh, those are basically uh, needed to configure uh, Tailwind CSS. Now let's go. Uh, here we need this Tailwind config, but uh, we're gonna be changing it. Uh, first, we're gonna copy the second line here. We don't need the index HTML, but we're gonna uh, just change the second line and adjust it to our needs. Just copy this line into uh, your Tailwind config file in VS Code. Here, let's open the Tailwind config and in the content brackets, uh, let's paste it in. The first part is the path to all your files. And actually in Vite and in Vanilla, we don't need all of this uh, path. We just need the forward slash and asterisk because we're gonna have it in the main one. And then we don't need view and uh, other extensions except HTML, JS. So we're just gonna leave those two. Uh, and then uh, the rest, we're gonna change the style CSS file. So copy these three lines, go into style CSS, uh, uh, just delete all this default CSS and put those three lines in. And in the index HTML, you need to link to the style CSS file. So link, add link and href it to the style CSS. Then uh, we probably don't need this main JS file, so we just can delete everything that is inside. Go back to H, uh, index.html, uh, delete the script for main JS, 
and let's add uh, heading one uh, with hello world We can add tailwind classes here from uh, the uh, instructions. Just copy the class and install it here. Uh, just paste it here, I mean. Then let's run the dev uh, server again. Now we see that tailwind uh, CSS is working and all the uh, tailwind classes are working. So uh, now we need to go to Tailwind UI and Tailwind UI actually needs a license. So uh, you need to buy Tailwind UI license to, to use their code. So you go to into components and now I just need uh, some landing pages. So I'm just going to copy um, landing page. So here in landing pages, I can choose uh, the one that I want to create. And let's say it's this one. So here I can copy the HTML. There are also uh, actually other ones like for React and Vue, but because we use vanilla, we're just going to copy HTML. And here we just let's uh, delete this H1 and uh, paste the Tailwind UI code. So this is basically a template for that uh, landing page. Let's uh, fix the indentation. And here it, uh, in the comments, it gives you ideas what you need to change in the Tailwind config for this template to work. So uh, we will need to add this constant colors into Tailwind config. So let's copy this. We need to put it before the module export. So let's just paste it here. And then let's copy module ex export from module export themes and plugins. So this will be actually helping you, uh, helping to get all those um, dependencies that Tailwind needs for this um, landing page to run. Now it should work. Let's see if everything is working. And we see that there are some errors. Like, let's stop and let's run it again. npm run dev. And let's see what has happened. So we can copy this part. We see because like at the end there are some characters that I added which we need to delete from index.html. So let's go and find that line. And we see those symbols at the end and we need to delete them. I see also the other one on the, uh, on the other line. So we can delete them as well, but we can also search and see if there are other ones. So it shows that there are no results, other results, so it should be fine now. Let's save. And it shows that page reloaded, so it should be okay. So let's stop and let's run dev again. Let's go to the page and everything seems to be working. So it's, it's good. Now we need to put everything into a static website. And it's actually um, pretty easy in Vite. Uh, we will just need to run one line, which is npm run build. This will create a new um, folder called dist here with all the static assets and uh, the f file HTML. So uh, th this will be your website in static. So let's just open in file explorer and open this file. But we see that Tailwind is not working. So but it's easily fixable. Just delete this forward slash in the links 
and now if you check it again it's working so this is it everything uh, now you have a static website in Tailwind UI <laughs>